Nih 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 Hey record warriors, so I think one of the best ways to improve in tennis is to record your match play and your practices. So I know I've created a video in the past on how to film uh, your match play and my old setup where I used to use this uh, painter pole, but as you can see, it's uh, not very portable. So um, I upgraded um, and I played with several folks and they've asked about my setup and I thought making this video showing you guys um, my my filming equipment ta -da! Um, what maybe help you guys start filming uh, your matches so um, please enjoy and like and subscribe thank you all right here it is my filming equipment so as you can see it's very compact um, when it's closed like this it's about 23 inches and then you can fully extend it to 66 inches so the way I have this set up is I have an action cam mount at the bottom of the monopod and also have one on top of the monopod. So what this allows me to do is I can uh, set my camera at the bottom or on the top. So uh, typically what I do is I would go um, and hang my uh, equipment on top of the fence and then I would adjust my monopod to the desired height. So typically for me, um, I like to put my camera's height around four to six feet above the floor. Um, I think it gives you really good angles on your shots and it's just easier to access your camera if you need to hit record, frame up your shots. So the only time when I use the top mount is if I want better tennis court coverage or let's say if I play with someone else that has an action cam, um, you can film with basically two cameras at once with this setup. All right guys, so here is my equipment kind of broken down. So here is the mounting sub-assembly of the equipment. As you can see here, uh, the main body of this equipment is the monopod. Um, as I mentioned, this monopod can stretch from 23 inches to 66 inches. Uh, the next important part is this hook here. So you can uh, use almost anything to make a hook. Uh, I've seen people use clothes hangers, but I used a couple of L brackets that I found in the garage and fastened together using some screws and some nuts. Uh, the important thing to, to know is that your gap here between your hook should be at least two inches. So the poles um, that run across um, the fence is about two inches. So for me, I made the gap about uh, two and an eighth inch. And I've added some duct tape so, um, you know, to prevent some scratches. And I think it just looks a little bit better um, um, being uh, it's all black. Um, I've also put in an action cam here up on top, um, fastened it to this uh, hook that I made using a hose clamp. And then uh, you can see I also have a bungee cord. Uh, I usually have this with me in case I need to strap down my monopod to the fence, but uh, I haven't uh, done that uh, lately, but um, it's there um, just in case. And uh, you can see here, I have another action cam mount at the bottom of the monopod. Same thing, it's also fastened to the monopod with a hose clamp. And then we have the camera cage here. Uh, so this one that I use is the PGY Tech which has two coat hose shoes. One um, where I put my, my microphone and the other where I put the um, external battery pack. So this is the mounting sub-assembly. All right, for my camera setup, I'm using DJ, DJI Osmo Action. Um, so I like this camera because it has a screen in the front, uh, which allows me to frame up my shot easily. And along with it, I use a Samsung uh, micro SD card. Uh, this one's 256. So I typically film my matches in 1080p, 30 frames per second. And with this memory card, I have like, can film up to 900 minutes, which is uh, ridiculous. I don't think I'll ever uh, <laughs> have a match that long, but if I do, I'm ready. Um, so the next part 
is I think is also important. So I use this uh, external battery pack um, and I charge my camera while recording. And this is useful because I don't have to worry about my battery dying while I'm playing. So all I have to do is hit record and I can just play. All right, moving on to audio. So um, this isn't really necessary, um, but I use an external microphone because I think it picks up sound better um, and it doesn't pick up sound from the back of the fence as much. And the one I use is a mobile. Um, this is the VXR10. It comes with uh, kind of a windscreen too, uh, which is useful to help block out the wind, um, especially uh, playing outside. Uh, it can get very loud. Um, but to use this microphone with my camera, I would uh, I need this Sonovo um, adapter as well. All right, so this is my camera setup, uh, fully assembled. As you can see, I have the microphone on the side. Have uh, my battery pack up on top, uh, batteries plugged into this uh, Sonovo adapter uh, along with the, the mic jack, and yeah, that's about it. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and consider subscribing. Now enjoy a couple of clips of me transporting this beauty around.